Ah, oh, perfection. Oh, these tea leaves are just divine. Quite the impressive selection, if I do say so myself. Lawrence, so this is where you are. Hello, Cyril. Lured here by the exquisite aroma, were you? Uh, no. I've got a thing for you. It's a letter. All right, well, don't say I didn't deliver it. A letter for me, is it? Curious. Let's see what we have here. Alas, Professor, nothing so whimsical as that. This correspondence comes from my father. Some difficulty with Acheron, apparently. My father wishes me to return home and settle it. A young lord whose domain borders my father's. Do you know of the Great Bridge of Murden? It is an old bridge across the Aramid River, a key crossing between Alliance and Empire territory. Acheron controls the land on the northern side. Controlling such an essential location gives him quite a bit of clout, which he is ever so eager to deploy toward the purpose of stirring up trouble. This time, he is dredging up an old border dispute that was supposed to be settled some time ago. He has even begun to dispatch military force. It is best we rout his troops before they cause any damage to the surrounding villages. To my father, Acheron is insignificant in the face of far more pressing political matters. Other houses wield far greater power and influence. Goneril, Ordelia, Edmund, and of course, Regan. To make his voice heard at the round table conferences, my father must keep up relations with them. That is simply the way the Leicester Alliance works. It was, after all, founded with the goal of freedom from Fargus. We prize that independence highly, even if it occasionally hinders cooperation. There is often talk of mutual aid, but the truth is that each noble acts to maximize personal benefit. At the moment, the Regan dukedom is in no state to keep those conflicting motivations in check. So while the Alliance may appear to be at peace, the reality is that internal conflict is a routine matter. Of course, this leaves me precious little time to sit back and enjoy a cup of tea. Alas, I must be off. Since you're here, perhaps you would care to accompany me on this little errand? I have no fear of Acheron, but it could be valuable for you to experience these political nuances firsthand. The fate of the Alliance will someday rest upon my shoulders, so it is important to me that those I deal with understand its workings. What say you to broadening your horizons? Excellent! Let us be away at once! I shall leave the finer details of preparation in your capable hands.
far more enemies than I expected. I am glad you decided to come with us, Professor. Oh, and here I thought Count Gloucester would be too busy to send his soldiers here. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just have to deal with you little meddlers swiftly and decisively. That is Acheron. If we can deal with him, that ought to scare the rest of these rats off. We need not actually kill him. So long as we cut his escape off convincingly enough, that should suffice. Incidentally, take note of those drawbridges. They can only be operated from one of the banks. We may be able to use that to our advantage. I got this. Ready when you are. Who, me? Ready and willing. Stay focused. Ready anytime. Let's get to it. I did it. I did. Leave it to me. I stand ready. Never underestimate an outsider. That's the golden deer for you.
compete with me? Much more than that. As expected. Amazing! Good try. Each battle a chance to grow.
another one down. Strength is all for a mercenary. <laughs> Sorry. Magnificent. Making Lady Rhea proud. are paying off. Yeah, but Ooh, have you found something nice? Go ahead and hand it over. Thieves, do not allow them to escape. It's time! This is what I do.
the golden deer for you. I'm not done yet. happy about this. On the move, do not let them through. <laughs> it was a good try. Should I have held back? I'll 
celebrate later. Magnificent. I am still far from my best. Making Lady Rhea proud. Underestimate an outsider.
are you? I'd appreciate it if you could just not get in my way. No! Stop! Uh! Give it up, Acheron. We are in the right. If you try to remain here any longer... What, you'll kill me? A tiny kid like you kills someone like me? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. An animal like you cannot be allowed to run amok. We will settle this here and now. If you think you're up to the task, then by all means. But it's not my fault if it ends badly. <laughs> Please don't kill me! You have my thanks, Professor. Please go on ahead. I will clean up here and then report to my father. See you back at the monastery. Your assistance in this incident with Acheron has proved most essential. Consider me in your debt. Thanks to you, the Alliance was able to nip this internal conflict in the bud. He has written a pledge to my father, swearing never to cause trouble about the border again. Of course, he is hardly the type to bind himself in good faith to anything written on paper. But Acheron has many connections, both in the Alliance and in the Empire. To remove him entirely would cause more conflict. We will just have to watch him closely for now. Indeed. I do plan to eliminate him eventually, however. He is nothing but trouble. Incidentally, there was one other benefit to embarking upon this errand. Have a look at this. The Magic Staff Thursus, a relic passed down through House Gloucester for generations. It seems my father has finally recognized my ability. Apparently, he had been considering entrusting this relic to me for some time. He has had precious few opportunities to take to the field of battle personally of late. Doubtless, by giving this to me, he intends to send the message that I must work even harder. I will certainly continue to do my utmost, but I am by no means completely subservient to his will. I would not go so far as that, but my father seldom thinks beyond the immediate benefit of our house. While that is important, I prefer to consider the greater good when I make decisions. I believe that is a noble's duty. Now, for the time being, may I trust you to decide how we may best make use of Thursus? For the moment, I think you are in the best position to apply it to the betterment of all Fodlan. To be quite honest, I am not certain I feel ready to decide the fate of a relic on my own just yet. Do me this favor, Professor, and I will be grateful. Now to celebrate, allow me to treat you to tea. <laughs> 